It's not going away. A judge ordering the release of even more Clinton emails, as Donald Trump and others call for a special prosecutor. They want an independent investigation into the pay to play allegations between the State Department and donors to the Clinton Foundation. So, would a special prosecutor be worth the cost of taxpayers? Hi, everybody. I'm Dagan McDowell. In for Brenda Butner, this is Bulls and Bears. The Bulls and Bears this week Gary B. Smith. Jonas Max Ferris, John Layfield, along with Lisa Booth and Jessica Tarlov. Welcome to everybody. Lisa, is a special prosecutor worth the cost? Absolutely, Dagan, because the reality is the Obama administration has shown there are cards. You had Loretta Lynch sit on a plane with Bill Clinton during an, an investigation, and there's also reports that the Department of Justice turned down the FBI's request to investigate the Clinton Foundation on public corruption charges. And the reality is Hillary Clinton is running to be commander in chief of this great nation. And while she was the nation's top diplomat, it certainly looks like her influence was for sale. You look at the Associated Press report, 55% of the non government individuals she sat down with or took phone calls with were Clinton Foundation donors. You look at the International Business Times, and they reported that arms sales to governments that donated to the Clinton Foundation increased under her watch. You also look at the New York Times, who reported about Uranium One in a deal that Hillary Clinton approved as Secretary of State that gave Russia 20% of uh, the U.S.'s uranium, and there was donors behind that deal as well. So, you know, you've got to have someone independently come in here because you can't trust the DOJ. We need a new word, Jessica, for cozy to describe how tight the Clinton Foundation was with the State Department in terms of sharing employees, comparing schedules, and mixing those foundation donors with those begging for favors from the State Department. Why not a special prosecutor? Well, as a Democrat, you know, I love to spend money, so I'm not going to take that argument there. Um, and I understand the cause for concern, and, you know, very liberal uh, publications like the Washington Post have come out and said that the Clinton Foundation should essentially disband and hand uh, all their operations over to the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. And I do understand the concern here. As to that AP report, which uh, Lisa cited, there have been a lot of people who have torn that apart. And when you say that 55% of the non government donor, uh, non government people that she had meetings with were also donors, you're you're not talking about the thousands of other people who are government officials that she met with. You're also talking about, I mean, the AP went off about Muhammad Yunus and Eli Wiesel, which I think is really a new low there. Um, but I understand the concern, but I also think that right now the GOP just wants to hammer this over and over again because Donald Trump is sinking, and they think that this is what they can do. They can make her seem so untrustworthy that she won't get elected, but it's not going to work. But, John, this is a, an individual who wants to be the President of the United States who clearly abused the role of Secretary of State in terms of helping curry favor for uh, the Clinton Foundation donors. I mean, we, there was a direct connection between one donor who wanted a meeting, the Crown Prince of Iran, and getting a meeting with Hillary Clinton. We found out, that out this past week. Yeah, I, I agree with everything you just said. And remember, uh, the DOJ did not investigate the ties between the Clinton Foundation and the, the Secretary of State, Ms. Clinton. They investigated the emails, which they said that no uh, prosecutor, reasonable prosecutor, would suggest criminal prosecution. But here's the issue. Look, remember Whitewater with the, the president, the, with the Clintons, both President Clinton and Ms. Clinton. You had a special prosecutor in Ken Starr. He spent tens of millions of dollars. The only indictment came from the SEC investigation of the McDougals, not from uh, the special prosecutor. James Comey, the FBI director, the then uh, deputy attorney general under President Bush, has said that the only reason for a special prosecution is if there's going to be a criminal charge, not just to find more facts. And I don't think that you're going to see a criminal charge. Is I think this unethical? Is I think it's wrong? Yes. I think a lot of people in Washington, D.C. are doing it. But I think as far as a criminal prosecution, this isn't going to happen. So I think it's a waste of money to get a special prosecutor. Jonas, waste of money? Well, in that if you expanded it to all politicians, I'm pretty sure the list of politicians that took phone calls or made appointments with rich people who gave them money or might have given money down the road is a pretty long list. So you would be spending a lot of taxpayer money. I will say, broadly speaking, the concept here of that the government could use money to to actually find out what these people have done, not just one side like this would be, but like, you know, we have this fund, this, plot, this presidential election campaign fund that no one uses. It's like a quarter billion dollar slush fund. Why don't, you know, it's harder to become an FBI agent than to become the president. Like, why don't they do a credit check on them, limited tax analysis, criminal checks, 
background review. Like, they, well, I don't know what either one of them really has done when it boils right down to it over long periods of time. And I know there's privacy issues, but they're running for president, and it's a government job. And when you take other government jobs, they do drug tests. We don't even know those results. They get to make weird accusations. This is about her health, and this is crooked. Like, why don't we know there? Why don't? Why don't the government just do all but, that and give it to the, the, the voters so we can make decisions? But Gary B, these are weird accusations getting pulled out of the ether. This is information that was laid out in emails, particularly the ones that came out from whom Abaddon. Why aren't they going after her chief of staff, Cheryl Mills' emails? What's in there? Why did the private server exist in the first place? Well, to hide the activities between the Clinton Foundation and the State Department. Well, Dagan, there's where I come down on this. One, why they're not going after them is because the, the Hillary Clinton's a Democratic candidate. If it was reversed around and Donald Trump had the Donald Trump Foundation and he was a politician, they'd certainly be going after him, I think. But maybe I'm a little bit more cynical. I understand all the, the points and the rebel rousing that, that Lisa made, and I agree with them. But here's the thing. The Clintons are smart. As John kind of implied, you're not going to find anything dirty that they did. And even if you did, what are you going to find? They're politicians. They're influenced by money. My God, it's like saying there's ambitious people in Washington, D.C. So we'll waste a couple million dollars with all these prosecutors. It'll all come out. They'll find nothing. There'll maybe some frivolous stuff. The Clintons will say, see, we did nothing wrong. I, again, maybe I'm cynical. It's all going to come to nothing. I'd just rather at this point not waste taxpayers' mo uh, money to find out something we already know. Well, that, that is, that's incredibly sad, is it not, Lisa, that, that that is the attitude of the American people is, yeah, they're smart enough to get away with something and I never get charged I don't think it's the attitude of the American well, it, people. It's certainly my attitude. Though. It's the attitude <laughs> of a lot Gary, of people, Lisa. A lot. Gary, Gary you're, you're better than that. No, look, it's in the public interest to figure out what happened here. She's running to be commander-in-chief. She wants to oversee the world's largest nuclear arsenal and the world's largest superpower. And to Jessica's earlier point, it's just really interesting to me that the Democratic Party is attacking it, attacking the Associated Press report. You know what? I think I'm going to go with the Associated Press here, considering the fact that Hillary Clinton took the unprecedented steps to set up a private server in the first place, spent, you know, a reported $140,000 out of her own pocket to maintain that server, and then uh, used, you know, special, uh, what was it, bleach, bleach bits to, yeah. to delete tens of thousands of emails, so even forensics could not recover those emails. So I think I'm going to go with the Associated Press not, when Hillary Clinton has systematically the, lied the to the American Press people. The Associated Press has already walked back what they did. It was the way in which they reported it, just as the but statistic it's not just you threw out with press, misleading. Jessica. It is the Associated No, it's no not. One there's been numerous reports, but there's been numerous no, reports the statistic about phone calls you threw out about made. 55% right. And the difference also, which is drawn clearly in the sand between access and favors. And to Gary's point, I think he's exactly correct. If you look at the numbers, over 60% of Americans do not care about this anymore. Over 80% of Democrats and independents just want to distract by, from Donald Trump. That but is what is going on here. The immigration flip-flops, the race-baiting issues. That's not true, that's, though. No, Jessica, okay. that's not true because you've got 92% of Americans believe that she did something illegal pertaining to her email uh, or broke the law. So, I mean, look, this, this, that is not true. And you also look at independent, uh, and there is another poll that showed that 60% of Amer uh, independents believed that the FBI should have recommended uh, indictment charges or charges for Hillary Clinton. Mm -hmm. So this isn't specific but they also want to, move to on. Republicans. This is also independents. This is also Democrats. No, people are concerned well, about the intersection between the Clinton Foundation mm -hmm. and her private right. email and, and her time as Secretary of State. And, and the Clintons are counting on the American people moving on because that's what people have done in the past because the situation is so complicated. Thank you, guys.